Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Crochet Chat. I'm your host Amanda and in today's episode I'm going to share with you some finished projects as well as some works in progress and at the very end I have a special surprise that I'm super super excited to share with you all. So let's get started. First before we begin I just want to remind you to please like this video, please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment. All of them I would greatly appreciate and they would help grow my channel, so I appreciate your support. So let's begin and dive right in. So as you can see here, I made a, another baby blanket set and I used the same colors that I used for my mom's blanket. And the colors I used are Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, and this pink color is called Rosy Cheeks, and the white color is called Ivory. So I made these baby booties, which I've talked about in both of my previous videos, and they are a free pattern by Repeat Crafter Me, and I absolutely love them. I think they're super adorable, and they're very fun and easy to make. Next, I made this baby hat, and I just wanted to use up, I had a little bit extra yarn, so I just wanted to use that up. So I did mostly the ivory, and then I did a strip of that white, or that, um, excuse me, that pink, and then I did a like little brim at the bottom. I know I said I would make the hat pattern for you guys in the next couple of weeks, but things have been a little bit chaotic, and I haven't been able to really find a whole lot of time to write that pattern down for you guys, but I'm still working on it, and I will still get this pattern to you as soon as I can. And then for the blanket itself, I did the modern chevron blanket that is on my website, which I will go ahead and link below. And I just did, let's see, I did 10 rows of each color, and then I just alternated. So I did the 10 rows of the rosy cheeks, and 10 rows of the ivory, and then back to that pink color. And I ended up doing three sections of that pink and two sections of that white color. And I really like how it turned out. It's probably a very easy blanket to make uh, once you understand how to make the chevron stitch. It's a very simple blanket that for me I can just sit and watch TV and be done. So that's that first set. This next set that I made you might have seen in a previous video but I made this using Karen Simply Soft and it is using the Sedge Stitch and I don't know if you remember but the last time I made this blanket there there was specks of pink and teal throughout it so I ended up getting some new white Karen Simply Soft and I made this blanket all over again and thankfully there is no specks in it so that was always very nice. And this is also a free pattern on my website. I just used different yarn in the original blanket. The original blanket, I believe I used that Red Heart Ombre yarn. But as long as you know how to make the sedge stitch, you can definitely use any kind of yarn that you would like. So I used a size 8 crochet hook. And I used about 3.5 skeins of Karen Simply Soft. And I had a little bit extra to make those baby booties. Again, it's the same pattern as before. And I made a baby newborn hat. So I have that set ready to go. So now I have pink, blue, and white sets. I may make another color set. I'm not sure what color yarn I still have in my stash, but I might, I might make another set to go on my Etsy shop. So that's two completed baby blankets and I forgot to mention for the the set that I showed you before this set right here for the blanket I used a size J crochet hook and then for the booties I used a size H crochet hook and then for the hat I used a size I crochet hook and then the same thing with the the set right here H crochet hook for the blanket and the baby booties and then for the hat I use a size I crochet hook. So for my last finished project I just recently made this so I made this pattern 
a few years ago, but I just never made a video tutorial. So I rebought the yarn and I decided to make this scarf all over again just to show you how to make it and have that video listed on my YouTube channel. So this is the oatmeal scarf and it is made using super bulky yarn and it is made using the Lion brand Woolies Thick and Quick. You only need two skeins because it's super thick and chunky and I use a size N 10 millimeter crochet hook I believe and this is just a simple V stitch and it's super pretty and I feel like this definitely works up very nice and quick and it's perfect for beginners and I feel like you can get this done in like maybe an hour hour and a half depending on how fast you can crochet but it's just a simple one row repeat and you can always make it wider or longer depending on how big you want to make it but yeah it's a very simple beginner friendly scarf and I will link the video tutorial below and it is using just those two skeins like I said and it's super soft and cozy and it's warm and perfect for the upcoming fall and winter seasons today in the Midwest it's super windy out so it's definitely a nice day to have this thick and chunky scarf all right, so that's it for my finished projects. Moving on to my works in progress, I only have two active ones that I'm working on, and I do have that one other blanket that I showed you in the last episode. It was that shell blankets with the yarn bead cotton yarn. I have not made any progress on that, so I'm not gonna show that to you today. But the one blanket that I'm working on is this slanted shell blanket. Now this is a pattern also that I made and I'm just changing up the color. So in the original blanket I used a light gray, a slightly darker gray, white, and a blue. And as you can see here I'm using a few different colors. So I'm using this light blue color here is called Glacier. You have white of course. This is gray mist and this is menth and this purple here is called orchard and this is all Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I'm using this awesome Harry Potter crochet hook and it is a size J crochet hook and I got this from Colleen of Sienna's Boutique which I will go ahead and list below because she has some awesome crochet hooks that are holiday themed or geek themed like um, she has Harry Potter of course and I think she has a few anime characters so um, Alice in Wonderland so definitely check her shop out but I plan on just making a few more rows of this so each of the colors right here are five rows and then the white is the white in between each color is only two rows so I have this color left, then another white section, and then I'm going to do the gray section, a white, and then I'm going to end with that, this um, green menth color. And I think that will turn out to be a very nice blanket. I probably won't end up putting this in my Etsy shop just because um, I have a specific theme that I'm going for, and unfortunately this doesn't fit into that theme but that's okay I definitely plan on donating donating this probably to warm up America as that's my go-to charity so I will probably be donating this I just wanted to see what kind of yarn that I have in my stash and kind of use up some of it because some of this yarn I've had for quite some time and it would be nice to use that up in some projects so that's my first work in progress and then the other one that I'm currently working on is brand new to me and it is going by a little bit slow but that's okay. And this is called the Crochet Ribbed Velvet Throw by Daisy Farm Crafts. It's a free pattern on their website and they also have a video tutorial on it and I'm using a size G crochet hook. And the yarn I'm using is Bernat Baby Velvet, and the color is 
misty gray and I've never ever worked with velvet yarn before so that's why it's a little bit slow moving for me but that's okay I'm really enjoying the process of it and because it is slow it's because it's a very slippery yarn so you have to use a slightly smaller crochet hook for it so that's another factor and um, yeah so I'm really liking this so far I I'm trying my hardest to keep my stitches a little bit tight than normal just so they don't fall out because I've heard a few different things on how the velvet yarn can kind of, um, the loops can kind of peek out a little bit. So I'm trying my hardest to keep everything a little bit tight and a little bit as, as even as I possibly can. But I really like the the pattern a lot. So what happens is you do two front post double crochets, two back post double crochets, and then you repeat that for eight rows, and then you do the same thing, you just change it up. So you have the front post here, and then you have the front post here, and so on. So I only have four sections so far, and I'm working on my fifth section of the of the double crochets, and I really like this pattern a lot. Yeah, it's turning out a little bit smaller than the original pattern just because I'm using baby velvet instead of the regular Bernat velvet yarn that they use in the original pattern. But this is all the velvet yarn that I had and I really wanted to try it out. And I definitely picked up a lot of velvet yarn at Michael's maybe, I want to say a few months ago just because they were having some clearance yarns on sale and they had some really good deals on velvet yarn. So I picked up a bunch and I plan on making a bunch of different projects in the upcoming months. So hopefully I can get to all of those and finish this blanket very soon. Alright, so time for the surprise. So as you know in my last video, I purchased some knitting needles and I told myself that I really really wanted to try and learn how to knit and I have successfully succeeded with that. So I was just playing around with the swatch and I didn't have any thick yarn. Thick yarn to me is easy for me to understand as a beginner so I just wanted something thick so I just ended up putting two different skeins together and knitting them together just like this and I did a couple of different stitches just to practice before I found a pattern on YouTube that I've been completely obsessed with and I just wanted to make a smaller swatch of it before I dove right in because the pattern I found of course is a baby blanket because I love making baby blankets but I didn't want to be too ambitious or too cocky and just start making the blanket right off the bat so I just made this simple little swatch and besides maybe a few issues with uh, my tension on the ends and the starting cast on, I feel like I did a very good job. So this is a um, knit two, purl two, and then you do that for four rows and then you on each side you knit two, purl two on um, for the first six stitches and the last six stitches and then in the middle it's kind of that um, in the middle she calls it that double moss stitch I believe I'll, I'll go ahead and link her video below in case you're interested in checking it out um, I know you probably can't see it too much here because of the two different colors but you do the moss stitch the double moss stitch in the middle and then you end with those four rows of the knit two purl two. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. And then I just bind it off with a knit stitch bind off, which everything was new to me. And I used, um, I believe I used size US 10 or 15 millimeter knitting needles or something like that. So, um, really happy with this progress and now I'm eager to go out to Michael's and pick up some thicker yarn because sadly I was looking through my stash and besides the velvet yarn that I have which 
it's not the velvet yarn, not the baby velvet, but I have a little bit thicker um, velvet yarn. I don't really have thick yarn in my stash. I have a lot of worsted weight yarn, and I really wanted that thick and chunky, bulky weight yarn. So I'm going to have to go to, to Michael's sometime this week or next weekend and pick up a few skeins of that to make the actual baby blanket. So like I said, I'm super excited to make that blanket and I'm very happy that I am learning how to knit and I'm just basically learning from YouTube and yeah, I'm very happy with it and I hope to continue with it. My ambitious goal for the far off future is to make a couple of sweaters for myself, but I am nowhere near that just yet. So I hope with the few beginner friendly projects I'll get to that point at some point. So thank you so much for joining me on my latest episode of Crochet Chat. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Stay tuned for the next episode and future patterns coming soon. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye!